moving on to Nigeria, a very strong performance yesterday. We've seen the market weaken over the last two weeks, but yesterday, of course, we saw the brewers and, of course, a few petroleum marketing companies leading the market higher. We saw the NSE index gain 1.4%. Closing at 33,351 points. Joining me in the studio to discuss the market is Akiola Jones. He is Head of Financial, Financial Advisory at Primera Africa. Thank you so much, Akiola, for joining us. And like I did mention, it seems the bulls are back in Nigeria. 1.4% gain yesterday. Um, your thoughts on where this market is headed? I think it's headed up. Uh, we saw with the release of the results, uh, we saw the breweries picking up. Um, Guinness did, what, 5% top line growth year on year. Uh, the company is focused on development and uh, it's going to spend about 50 billion naira on capex and that's Guinness, Guinness mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, Nigerian breweries too is faring well. Um, the oil and gas companies are, are doing well too. I think the banks, once they all start to release, you're going to see another rally when that when that happens. You think I, we're going to see, you don't think it's priced in already in the banking space? I, I don't think so. I, I see, so, you know, I think UBA is going to release pretty good results. I, you know, we know GT is. We know some of the banks are going to do pretty well. So we see definitely there's some upward potential in the banks. We've seen that happen in the brewery sector. We're going to see it in the banking sector. We're mm -hmm. going to see it in a couple more sectors. Well, of course, that's assuming that we don't get any negative surprises. Mm -hmm. But let's move on to some deal flow across Nigeria these days. But particularly in the private equity space, we're seeing fairly in strong interest in the e-commerce space, the likes mm -hmm. of Conga.com, Jumia, getting significant investments from NASPAS and Summit Partners. Your thoughts mm. on the flows we're seeing in the private equity space yeah, these days? I think we have to go back to a couple of months ago. We saw JP Morgan and Millicom invest in Jumia. Um, we saw um, last week uh, NASPAS taking a 50% stake in Conga. And we saw Summit Partners putting an additional $26 million in Jumia. Um, it really starts with our population. What are we? We're 165 million people. Most of the um, retail space is informal. Mm -hmm. I think about 92, 93% of the retail space is informal. Yeah. And they are capitalizing on that. They're capitalizing on that market. They're going to face a couple of char challenges, of course, such as sourcing, payments, delivery, and just the general internet ne network and just the infrastructure in this country. You know, so, but as we, as we move along, there's definitely a lot of opportunities. Uh, they're gonna, we're going to see a lot of competition just in the, in the general retail space. So you go from a company like ShopRite, you can look, you can see how they've grown and how they're continuously growing across and Nigeria. Of course, I, I yeah. also um, announced plans to expand. Uh, yeah. That's ShopRite, of course. Exactly. And then Spa Group, you can see how they're growing in Nigeria. So there's a, in the retail space, there's a lot of opportunity. And you can even move on to personal care products. If you're moving on to the F fast moving consumer goods, there's a lot of opportunity in that space. We're going to see a lot of private equity investment also in cosmetics, in just the entire chain of personal care products and fast moving consumer goods. We're seeing a lot of just food and beverage. We're already seeing some activity there when it comes to just um, people diversifying what type of food and beverage brands they're going into. So there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of things happening in, the, in this space. Our 165 million people population is um, it's getting everyone is getting everyone um, excited. And you know, I mean, I don't remember the figure of how much FDIs we got last year, but yeah. do you think that we're going to see a lot more, especially into product moving into companies like Jumia, Conga, this year compared to last year? It seems like a very exciting place it, to be these know, days. Yeah, it is. It's, it's all about management. It's all about putting the right structure in place. I think people, are, when they see value, they're going to invest. Once you set up the right structures and put in uh, the right checks and balances, you're going to get, you know, there's, there's, there's a pool of capital out there looking to find the right investments. And it seems that's the key. investors are not deterred by the news around yeah, the terrorism, terrorism and all and, of that. And so of that. Nigeria are really looking yeah. interesting these days. Yeah. But moving on to the oil space, mm. it seems that is it's, it's a no-brainer. We will continue to see investments there, right? Yeah, we will. We will. Um, but the, you know, the key issue is always the petroleum industry bill. Right. Um, once that's ironed out, we'll continue to see investments, and we will continue to see investments in the, in the um, with or without. But once it passes and more local companies are empowered, um, people are going to have to do some kind of joint ventures. Either, even if it's just for the technical, some of the technical cap capabilities you're going to need to build your business to that mm. global level. Mm. So that there's a lot of interest there too. Mm. Yeah. I always like to ask um, financial advisory people <laughs> this question: Your thoughts on the IPO market? Of course, the hope is that some of these will translate to listings on the NSC at some point. So your thoughts on what we're likely to see in terms of the IPO space this year? I think at the beginning of the year, some people were a bit cautious about that, but we've seen the market rally almost 20% year to date. There's a sense that consumer company valuations are pretty rich, so maybe it's about time some people 
try to buy, uh, try to sell shares at a discount to the market price. Your thoughts on what we're likely to see? Yeah, you know, the IPOs will happen. They might not happen. This year? This year, I still, I'm still very doubtful on it. But, you know, as the market continues to pick up and regulations, the SEC tightens on regulations, makes sure, it just boosts investor confidence. Mm -hmm. I think the IPO market will pick up. This year, it's a little too close to predict. But why do you um, say that? Is it that because of where valuations are or just it's, the it's confidence not, factor? It's is just that, a confidence you factor. Think I, I the think retail, valuations the retail are, investors are not really there now it's more institutional it's more foreign exactly so it's perhaps not a good time is, is that the argument that my argument it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's an investor confidence it's a building process you know and mm. it will happen it's just if it's going to happen it takes time people just don't wake up and say we're going to do an ipo then me you know you have to you know you have to feel what your valuations are you have to do some kind of private placement round you have to start feeling for that and we're in the market you know, we're seeing that, but it's going to take, you know, some months. But it will happen. It will happen very well, soon. I, I think when it yeah. does happen, it seems the market will have definitely turned the corner. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, it's only going up. Thank you so much, Akela Jones, so for, for a good discussion around Nigeria's market.